What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to the second part of my Unreal Engine Beginner's Guide. So in the previous part we looked at the interface and checked out everything in a basic way and in today's video we are not going to explore them one by one, we are only going to check out the content browser, we are going to be learning how to import 3D assets, we are also going to be trying to import stuff and put them in our game. So this part is about importing your own assets. It can work for 3D assets or anything as long as they are compatible. Yeah, you're just gonna check out how to do it with the 3D stuff for now. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to a website called opengameart.org and I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. If you go to browse and select 3D art, there should be a lot of assets that you can use in your game and they are all free and you can even sell games with them. So the, the thing we want to check out today is going to be called modular building asset and this one we are going to be using it to make a small room or something. But yeah, you just go there, just click it and the file should be there. Free Nobiax modular building assets, I'm just going to download it. Again, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. So we're going to minimize and place it over here on our desktop. You can see my cute mogul wallpaper, it's looking great. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I'm going to place it here and I'm just, I'm just gonna close down the site and I'm simply gonna extract everything into its own folder and there you have it you have your assets over here and once it's open you can see that each asset has two files either FBX or OBJ we want to go with the FBX because it's the one that Unreal supports the most so I'm just gonna select all of the FBX files and with them selected we just want to drag them into the engine of course we don't have a folder over here in the as content browser so basically we are going to check out the content browser and see what it has to offer before and while we import these files so over here we have geometry and inside it there's only cubes and stuff they are from the engine they came with the third person uh, project files we don't want to mess with them, you can delete them if you want, if you don't need them, but I'm just going to keep them. The mannequin folder includes the character um, skeleton, the character mesh, and we don't want to mess with it either. I just wanted to show you that everything inside the game is actually in the content browser. We have the animations in its own folder and the way we're gonna do things will be very similar to how this is set up so we wanna, so we want to make sure that each category of files is it has its own folder and is on its own so that they are easier to find you have the starter content which includes props so we checked these out earlier we don't want to touch them for now I mean technically we can import the 3d models into this place and yeah let's do that so with the folder open you can either click add import and browse where is the import button yeah add import import to yeah import asset and you choose this one and you choose your files by, by browsing but that's just too hard so you can just drag them and drop them and that should just import this stuff Skeletal Mesh, you make sure this is unchecked if you are not importing a character. We are going to check out importing characters later, so don't don't touch it. Generate Missing Collision, this is if the objects have no collision, it will just generate them. The engine will make it on their own so that you don't go through this stuff when you touch them. You want to keep it checked. Import Uniform Scale, which makes your stuff either larger or smaller don't mess with it and the materials should be imported on their own i think so if you import it might work yeah you just want to check you, you just want to choose import all and that would import them all with the same settings that you've chosen and now if you just wait everything should be imported with them but as you can see the material is not working and that is because the texture somehow did not 
get imported so we are going to go back to our folder and we are going to be looking for our texture which is this one so all of these files have the same texture that you can use to create one material and the, since it's uv mapped the material should know which part of the of the texture to put on each of the objects or each of the assets so you just want to drag in diffuse normal and specular those three should be making up the your material and there you go it is imported so i think there should be a textures folder over here yeah there it is and one simple trick in the content browser to move stuff between files easier is you can go to the corner over here and click on show or hide sources panel and that should give you the folders in this kind of fashion and now if we go back to the props folder the textures should be here but we want to move them to the to the textures folder so with them all you just want to select them all by pressing ctrl and selecting the three of them diffuse normal and specular and move them to the textures folder and they are moved if you go back here now they should be somewhere around here of course they are not named the same thing so oh yeah there they are and now we want to add them to the material that is applied on all of the props that we've imported to do that find the material we are actually going to be making a brand new material for these assets so you just want to right click create basic assets over here material and we are just going to name it um, building underscore mat, which is short for material. And we want to add the textures to this material that we've just created. And we do that by entering the material editor. And I'm not going to teach you everything about the material editor for now. I'm just going to show you how to do a very, very basic material by adding the textures to it and the normal maps and the specular map. So you go back to the textures folder and you can just drag in the diffuse map and that should import add it to the material editor of your new material. You also want to add the normal and the specular. So what we're going to do now is something very basic to make sure that it's working because this is not a tutorial on material editors. So you just want to click the RGB here, which is the color, the entire color, instead of clicking only the red or only the green or only the blue or only the alpha. You just want to click the RGB and drag it to the base color and that should add the base color if you wait a bit yeah you can see that the color is added but it has no um normal maps so there are no bumps or anything you just want to select the normal map and connect it as well and that should improve the detail just a little bit yeah as you can see there are now like it's it's deeper it's looking deeper and the third one we have is the specular map which controls the shine of the material you just want to connect it to the specular and that should make it look much better exactly as the developer of this asset intended now you want to apply and we are going to go back to the props folder which has the material and all of the assets that we have imported now to make sure that the material works on these assets we want to select them all and apply the material to them so i'm just gonna select them all by clicking on them with the control button held and that should just select them you know it's it's a mistake not not putting them in their own folder i kind of regret it but hey no problem we can just fix it very easily as you can see i have selected them all yeah i didn't forget anything now we want to right click on them and go to asset actions bulk edit via property matrix and that should allow you to uh, change your settings without having to do it one by one then you go to static mesh static materials and you hit this little arrow and go there again now you are gonna select our new material and we are gonna go over here material 
interface and just click use selected asset from content browser and that should just work on all of them as you can see all of them now have a material and we applied it within seconds so it was very very basic now we have imported our assets into unreal engine 4 or unreal engine without the 4 no one calls it unreal engine 4 anymore and yeah this is basically what we did with the content browser to make sure that our stuff is here now if you drag in your assets you can see that you can place them in your game very very easily so i actually made a small mistake which was my game was actually in preview mode with eject selected so when i changed the textures or the materials for all of them it got reversed once i um once i stopped the preview mode but yeah now we have our assets in the game we can import them play with them add them create a level and yeah you can see all of them are here you can just add them randomly and you can see that they work of course the rotation is snappy so i just turned off the snapping and as you can see we have very cool assets that you can just add them to your game and play around them and basically they look great a bit small for the character but hey no one cares i guess you can fix that as you go with designing the level i'm actually gonna keep these assets for another tutorial so we can make a level with them and making a level with these um modular assets is very very easy so i would really really recommend it and there are lots and lots of assets that you can download from the marketplace from the unreal engine marketplace which are even better than this so please check it out and it will really be useful for you other than you know it's much better than having to create all of the assets in your game by yourself especially if you are not in a team so yeah that was how to import stuff into the content browser and another tip i have for the content browser is coloring the folders so for example over here we have the blueprints folder and to be able to tell it apart easier from the other folders instead of having to read is just go to set color and choose a color for your folder and i like to make blueprints blue we also can change the maps folder so if you go there set color new color and make it sort of yellowish i like to make the maps folder yellowish and as you can see we have it looking much better and cleaner and of course you can do it for all of the stuff for example props particles materials i usually do it when i'm seriously working on a game so yeah that's my final tip for today i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and are looking forward to the third part if you are please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and make sure to tell me what you want to learn have a great day and i will see you in the next video take care and bye